Hello majors, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, today's video is going to be a day in the life of a graduate student vlog. Um, I have been struggling a little bit recording today because things are a little bit not as normal as usual. So it is pouring down raining today. And so it was kind of difficult for me to uh, just record a lot of things. So. Um, it took me a little bit longer to get to class today, so I had to like kind of rush. I didn't know it was going to be raining, raining, raining like this. But um, basically, you guys saw, I woke up this morning and I just bummed it out. I just, you know, got dressed so that I could go to class. Um, I went to class. My first class today was, well, I only have one class today. I only have actually one class. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Breland. If you're not aware of my schedule this semester, I have one class that I take in person and I have two classes that I take online. So my in-person class is physiology of a pregnant woman. So it's all about like the nutrition and stuff of women and infants. So I went to that class at, I went to that class at 10 and like I said I really couldn't record um, I ride my bike to my class but it's pouring down raining so my hands are freezing and yes yeah, so I went to class now I rode my bike here I'm about to go to office hours for one of my online um, professors class which is biochemistry and I haven't been to her office hours before just because it is an online class but we have an exam coming up next week so I want to make sure I'm getting all of my questions answered early so that doesn't start until 12 and I got in my last class at 11:30. so I have a little bit of time so I just run my back here I'm gonna go over some of my questions and then find her office and go in there I probably won't record while I'm in her office just because that's probably gonna be weird but just to give you guys an update on what's going on and what today's vlog is gonna be we have some fun things I'm gonna be doing later on I'm gonna go to the library I need to cook dinner and y'all see I haven't even eaten today um I usually just pop something in the microwave something fast but because I kind of overslept I didn't even get a chance to do that so yeah, I'm pretty hungry, but I'm gonna go back home after this and eat lunch, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do after that. But welcome to the vlog, and let's get started. <laughs> so every, I spent the last four days just taking everything out of the rooms and putting it in the attic or the closet. Or <laughs> Ignore my appearance, but y'all, let me tell you what. I just left her office hours, right? Why do I love that lady? So I don't know if you guys could see, but I have on my Beauty and Brains apparel. Um, it's a black collection hat, and it spells out black in the periodic table. And I also have on the matching sweatshirt, right? So y'all saw, like I said, I'm just bumming it today. It's cold, it's rainy. I just put on something just to put on it. So I get to her office hours or whatever, and the first thing she says to me is that she likes my sweatshirt. And I tell her, oh, well, thank you. You know, you always have to self pub. I'm like, this is from my um, apparel line, Beauty and Brains apparel. And she's Beauty and Brains. Like, tell me about that. I love that. I felt so bad because I had interrupted her. She was like answering somebody else's question. And I, you know, I tell her about it and we go into a conversation, I kid you not, for like 30 minutes of her office hours talking about what it's like to be a woman in the science field. And she talks about how like, Basically, the discrimination that you feel as a woman to be in science from, of course, men, but then also women who do not relate. So you have women who are into like the beauty side of things and there's like a certain line that you have to walk or you have to be on because you don't want to offend people or you, you're you looked at differently when you also care about your hair or your nails or makeup. And she was like, she doesn't even wear makeup. Maybe she does, but it doesn't look like she wears like makeup, makeup, not like me, but she was talking about how you know when she would have like her nails done at a conference how people would you know talk about it or like they would always like talk about her hair and stuff and she was like you know of course men will say stuff but then even women will say stuff and it's just like crazy because it's like you know you have to stick together there's only but so many women in the field and she was like she never felt like she couldn't do something just because like she's always going to think outside of the box but you definitely start to feel like other people think that you can't do it just because of the way that you look dress or carry yourself and so she loved that she said she's gonna purchase some of my apparel i was like oh my gosh like that was so cool and so she ended up extending the office hours later because we talked for 30 minutes just about like that whole thing so i thought that was so cool and like i said it's my first time going to her office hours because i see her online and it's it's interesting because <laughs> she talks so fast and when I'm doing her online lectures, I can pause her and rewind her or slow her down. But in person, it was just like trying to type really fast because like I said, she was talking a lot. But um, 
it was pretty good um, I feel good about going to this one it was only three other people in there they were all girls and stuff so she's like really cool and chill and this is her last year she's told us before um, before she retires and so she's like very chill like she'll just want to talk about other stuff and she's very helpful and just nice and friendly and I really like her so anyway I am starving now I'm gonna go home and eat lunch I already have some stuff meal prepped and then I'm gonna head back to the library it sucks that I don't have it with me because the library is literally right there but I'm gonna go home eat and then come back and I'm freezing right now because y'all see it's still raining it's not as heavy as it was earlier though so um yeah I'm so I'm so happy that I went to the office hours like there's very few professors that I have had like all my professors in undergrad all of them knew about my yeah all of them knew about my YouTube channel and there was there were some a lot who were like very like supportive of it but in supportive in more of a way of like like you're a superstar and like you're gonna make it far and like you're really smart but like she was the first person with like as soon as I just said it she got exactly what I was talking about and if you know you know comment down below if you have that experience to like being beauty and brains really that's what it's all about so anyway I'm gonna go but I just want to share that with you guys because it really just made me happy okay bye I am so excited because my every plate box came right on time you guys can see here that I do have my lunch all meal prepped and ready to go but this is the last bit of food that I had in my refrigerator so I didn't have enough time or I would not have enough time to go grocery shopping and prepare for dinner tonight and I honestly would not even know what to cook and so every plate is perfect for those days where I'm kind of in a rut and I don't really know what to cook or I don't have enough time you guys can see that as a graduate student your days are really busy you're packed but you want to make sure you're still eating fun and delicious food and so every plate is perfect for students like us you guys saw that they deliver right to my door I'm gonna show you guys the meals that I got a little bit later when I cook my dinner but just to, just to give you guys a quick little rundown of every plate they claim to be America's best value meal kit service so that means that you're gonna get your bang for your buck they're not that expensive especially if you think about all the different ingredients that you're getting and it's nice because you're not wasting any money they send you everything that you need for the recipe in that box that shows up to your door all you have to do is choose what meal or meals that you want in your box and they will send it to you every week of course every plate is a subscription type service so if you want to cancel a week or skip a week you can do that with no charge but I really like it because it cuts down the amount of times I have to go to the grocery store and it allows me to be creative with my meals and stay healthy because even though these are delicious meals you can choose your different meal plans so this box that I have is neither but it's okay because <laughs> it's still fun and delicious so if you find yourself doing takeout or ordering delivery a lot you should definitely consider something like every plate because it's cheaper and healthier than fast food would be I believe that the every plate dinner options range from about $10 per serving they usually have a variety of recipes and they never take longer than 30 minutes so overall it's definitely faster than going to the grocery store I really like it because it helps me with meal planning which is super important especially when you have super crazy busy weeks like this week where I'm studying for an exam I don't have to think too hard about what I'm gonna cook or when I'm gonna eat because every plate will just show up to my doorstep so yes I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch here on the couch and then I believe that I'll have a few hours to go to the library and then from there what I want to do is I want to go I signed up for a yoga class at the gym I have been working out more so you know trying to stay fit because I haven't been lately so I'm gonna go to a yoga class and then I'm gonna go to a ballet class in Durham because I haven't done ballet in a really long time and I miss it so I want to go ahead and take a ballet class and um, then we're gonna come back and make the dinner so I'm gonna eat this lunch and then I'll talk to you guys when I'm back outside in the cold and rain on my way to the library.
crazy from having this thing on my forehead. I've had this hat on my forehead for hours now. But y'all, we have a little bit of a dilemma. When I went to sign in, when I got to the gym, I can't even talk to y'all. Like, like, and y'all saw, I, I actually took the time to put flexi rods in my hair last night, but the rain has ruined my hair. Please ignore this big dent on my forehead. Like, I can't even take myself seriously. But, usually on my keys, I have a little, like wallet or whatever and it has my id oh, lord it has my id it has my student id and it has one of my debit cards and when i got to the gym i realized that it wasn't on there anymore which is really weird um i know it was on there this morning when i was in class and i just checked my bag that I went to the gym and it's not there i thought that maybe it fell off on my bike i don't really know where it's at so um, I don't really want to like leave and drive without my license so I think that the ballet class is canceled for today I really did want to go but at the same time my legs are really really sore and even though some would say this is a good time to push my legs I'm just getting back into it and so I went to yoga so that I could like you know loosen up the tenseness and um yeah and then I'm oh here it is okay thank god it was in my backpack so I did find it but at this point I was searching I've been searching for like 15 minutes since I've been home. I don't know. I, if I go now, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be 10 minutes late if I go. And it's 30 minutes away. Decisions, decisions. What should I do? All right, now that I am all fresh and clean, I'm ready to make dinner. I'm going to go ahead and rip on into my every plate box and then see what we have for our dinner choices tonight. Okay, so we have three different meals in here so we can choose from today for dinner. The first is, how do you pronounce this? Chi Mi Chim Curry Steak with roasted sweet potatoes, Paul, Paul Blano, and onion. Looks like this. The next one is bacon mac and cheese with cheddar and jalapenos. That sounds really good. Mac and cheese is like one of my favorite foods. And then we have gravy lovers meatballs with roasted um, with roasted garlic mashed potatoes and broccoli. That sounds really good too. Well, even though y'all know I love steak, I don't think I like sweet potatoes. So I feel like I'm going to save that one to try something new. It's between the mac and cheese and the gravy lovers meatballs. Both of these are not really a part of my eating healthy diet, but you can choose healthier options. I just didn't choose these. Now, I don't have the thing to mash potatoes, so that's gonna have to wait. So it looks like we're gonna go with the bacon mac and cheese. This should be pretty simple. So it comes with bacon, yellow onions, garlic, jalapenos, pasta, reduced fat milk, and shredded cheddar. So I'm gonna take out everything that I need in this box, and then we're gonna get to cooking. Here for the bacon mac and cheese I need pasta I have cheese here reduced fat bacon yellow onions jalapenos and garlic so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fry the bacon so I'm gonna open these up and then put it over here on my little pan and uh, get that cooking and I believe while I'm doing that and you guys know there's obviously instructions on the back very easy picture instructions to tell you what to do so I'm gonna cook the bacon for about six to eight minutes and while that's cooking I'm going to half peel and small dice my onions I'm going to peel and finally chop my garlic and I'm going to dice my jalapenos
right y'all i am all done and here she is i've never made macaroni and cheese like this so i'm very curious to see how it is you guys can see that i'm already i'm already in the bed because i am so tired like oh, i'm so tired after i eat this i'm literally about to go straight to sleep and i'm kind of sad because i'm like dang i did all this working out i'm about to get up and work out in the morning but i guess this can be my cheat meal for the week but uh I got leftovers as you guys saw but anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and probably watch manifest tonight because i haven't watched it in a while we haven't we haven't been up to that i feel like the last time i watched it was episode 11 i watched it with you guys so where are you guys at i know that y'all said that y'all love manifest but y'all don't tell me what you think about what's been going on so let me know what you think about the previous episode i believe i'm on episode 12 in the meantime while that's loading because this thing is taking forever i'm hungry let's take a bite and see if it's good Mmm. Okay, flavor. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's pretty darn good. I didn't have flour. That's the only thing that I didn't have. I don't know how that would have made a difference in the recipe, but I didn't put flour in my mixture. But make sure you guys check out every plate my mouth is watering can't even talk <laughs> make sure you guys check out every plate i will have a link in the description box down below and i'm pretty sure i'll have a discount code or something like that so make sure you check them out i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because this is just a day in my life and the day is over so i think i'm gonna do another one of these when i do different things but i mean this was a pretty good depiction of like one day in my life as a graduate student so if you all enjoyed it there's hulu <laughs> if you all enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel i'm not going to give a post notification shout out today because i'm very very early on filming and not necessarily on uploading so i still haven't received any of you guys's um post notification shout out comments yet so if you want a post notification shout out make sure you are subscribed to my channel turn on your post notifications and then comment down below post notification gang and i may shout you out in the next video Without further ado, make sure you live each day to the fullest because you only live once and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Introducing the Beauty and Brains Apparel newest line, The Black Collection. Featuring new exclusive designs, styles, and products all to celebrate the love of black culture and Black History Month. Head over to beautyandbrainsapparel.com right now to shop the newest pieces available during this month only. One, two.